Let's talk about the Black Stars and their participation in this year's FIFA World Cup. And captain of the team, Andrea Yu, says he expects the Ghana Football Association to ensure the best of preparations for the tournament after the 2014 debacle in Brazil. According to him, everyone involved is aware of the mistakes that were made during the World Cup and he expects the GFA to do better in Qatar. We should get more numbers. That, uh, I think, uh, would be fair enough. I hope that we get more numbers very soon, hopefully, because uh, the continent deserves it and it will give us more chances for teams to go further in the tournament. In 2010, your Ghana World Cup squad profited from solid focus preparation. In 2014, the complete opposite happened. From these two experiences, what would be your advice to the African teams coming to the World Cup this time? What would you say are the secrets to having a great World Cup for the teams? I think the World Cup has to be prepared like the way you should prepare an African Cup. It has to be you know, planned ahead and do the things that you have to do. I believe that uh, uh, we know what you know, we have to do, we know the mistakes we have done, the good things we have done. Um, I have full confidence in the FA to, to do the right preparation and the coach. So hopefully um, everything will be okay and we'll be ready to, to, to do a great, a great job. What are your top five countries to win the World Cup? Well, there are a lot of countries who are good, but you know, you see France, Germany is always there, Brazil is always there. You know, you, when you have Messi and Cristiano also on the team, they're always there. So it's a lot, it's a lot to see, but you can, you can say an African team also, Senegal are the African champions. Um, there are a lot of teams, I think this World Cup will be more open than it has ever been. There will be more chances for everyone to, to, to succeed because I think every team is better prepared. The African teams, the American teams, um, when you look at USA, Canada, solid squads. So, um, yeah, Spain, you, till we start the tournament, you will not really be able to, to see who's going to lead. But I think France has the edge at the moment.